Hi, this is Brett Haggard from HTXT Africa. We've tracked down uh, one of the teams from Nigeria, KP and Ope. They have done something very, very cool, which I think is extremely relevant in South Africa, the rest of Africa, and quite definitely in their, uh, in their country also. Essentially what they've managed to do is uh, take an off-the-shelf uh, generator that would be used for creating power in a household or in a small business, modify it so that it is able to run... Uh, on gasoline or used motor oil or ionized water um, absolutely remarkable solving two very very important problems in uh, in uh, South Africa Africa Nigeria wherever you look basically the problem of uh, of used motor oil and how you dispose of that but at the same time generating power which is a big problem across the whole of Africa so KP tell me first what modifications you've done to the uh, to the generator to get this to work? Uh, we configured the um, piston head because normally when for the generator to work in gasoline, it works in 11 degrees. But for uh, it to work in the waste oil and the ionized water, we have to reduce the degree to 8 degrees. So we, um, re um, we reduced the degrees from 11 degrees to 8 degrees and that was the configuration. We also removed the tank that the petrol is being stored and connected to the engine. We removed that. We removed the petrol supply. So the only thing that the petrol is gonna, the generator is going to need is just a pipe that we put just a drop of petrol. We can keep running for 24 hours. Just one drop of petrol can keep your generator one running for one 24 hours. And in terms of the oil that gets used, is it is it, you know any variety of used oils out of a vehicle, synthetic oils and stuff like that? Yeah, you can use any, you can use waste oil discharge from um, cars. And you can poison the generator to produce two known gases, ethane and propane, to fire your generators. That means you can use different, any waste oil. You can use the one from gens, you can use the ones from your cars, the trucks, anyone. You, there's not really specified, just waste oil is waste oil. You can put it in the generator and just starts walking. That's remarkable. Same, same output power? Yeah. Yes, yes. And in terms of the byproduct that's created, is there anything dangerous or harmful that's created in the process of, uh, of using used motor oil as an alternative uh, fuel source for generators? No, no, it's no um, there's no um, um, a bad thing. There's no bad thing that's produced. Only the carbon monoxide, but comparing it to normal carbon based for a generator, it's the significantly lower than the carbon monoxide release. Whereby the normal generators produces one um, 1,996 part per million amount of carbon monoxide. We bought ours produces 2.2 by using the um, wa um, anise water and why using the waste oil produces 524 part per million. So you can see that ours is significantly lower when producing the carbon monoxide. So you're looking at like 2,000 versus 2.2 if you're using the ionized water yeah. and 2,000 versus what about five five 600? Yeah, 524 versus using waste oil. That's, that's remarkable. So here's the question, why ionized water? What was the... Uh the inspiration for that? Well, uh, in last year, our seniors did a generate a project. It's the generator runs in urine. So like, but they got uh, they got a lot of awards for that. But some people were not really happy with that because uh, urine is something a waste from the body. But some people were not happy that they were using something from your body to pr um, power something else. And also because of the smell of the urine, people were not happy about that too. Even if we try to suppress the other the urine with um, some chemicals, the other was still there. It was still lingering about. So we looked for something similar to urine yet different. And then, you know, urine runs the on electrolysis. It works in the principle of electrolysis. So we looked for another thing that could run in the principle of electrolysis. And that's how we got the ionized water. It's fantastic. In terms of the cost of the modification to the uh, to the generator, how much would it cost to take an off-the-shelf generator and modify it so that it could be used like this? Well, the cost is not really that much. Considering it's in dollars, it's going to be more than $10 to reconfigure your generator. But if we're to produce this in large scale, um, reconfiguring the generator will be done by the company which is to produce the generator instead of actually um, the customers reconfiguring it themselves. There's probably a great opportunity, though, for people that are mechanically minded to convert existing generators, right? And then, therefore, create a viable business for those people. Yeah, yes. Um, it's possible to open workshops to promote um, how to co uh, promote um, science, like to open a workshop that will teach people how to convert the generators in to convert the generators so that they can work on waste or thereby using waste or which is being discharged by most mechanics to 
to their own advantage instead of actually disposing them, which is not really environmental friendly. And by doing this, when as we have converted generator from the carbon-based fuel generator to a waste oil and ionized water working generator, it could provide jobs for people who can learn to configure generators in their own to different kind of water keys, different kind of waste, except waste oil. They could use think of something new, something that is um, that thing that people think is impossible. They could do it, and they could produce their own, and maybe they'd be like us. I think that's fantastic. So, uh, you know, from what I understand, it it. It almost feeds itself from the perspective you need a little bit of petrol to get the generator started. It's using heat generated by the exhaust yes. to break the oil down. Yes. Right? And then it's harvesting the gas off of that and feeding it back into the generator, right? Yes. And then I suppose when the oil in your generator gets really, really old, you can drain that out and use it to power the generator again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could, you could. That's how it is. But um, the only thing is that after six, maybe some after some hours when you hit, you just have to refill the waste oil just to pour more of that into the catalytic chamber so that your generator doesn't go dry. What kind of, uh, um, I want to say fuel consumption, but what kind of uh, consumption does it have versus uh, petrol? Is it using roughly the same amount of, of, of liters per hour? No. When if you if you compare the carbon-based fuel generator and our generator, comparing the liters together, you find out that while the carbon-based fuel generator uses 7.8 liters of fuel to power just for six hours, 7.8 just for six hours, ours using waste oil just needs 3.5 just for six hours liters, and using ionized water just needs 1.01 just one liter for six hours. So if you want to go 24 hours with the waste oil or the ionized water, you don't need much like the fuel. And you don't need to spend your money much because water is everywhere and um, waste oil is easily gotten. One last question about the ionized water. Um, so this is something that you've created. So yes. you've actually created a water that works inside this. How, uh, how expensive do you guys think using that, uh, you know, creating that water or manufacturing that water is going to be in the long run? Is it something that's very inexpensive to do? Where, uh, when we were creating ionized water, we did it in the laboratory. And when we got the salts, the salts were not expensive because you just go to a chemist or a chemical shop, they'll get you the salts. The salts are not expensive at all. And water is everywhere. You don't need to buy water. You just, you just get it from your tap or something. And then maybe if you don't know how to mix those so that you don't get hurt, you take it to the chemist. You, they help you mix it. And then you got your ionized water. So it's really, is, is it a really simple process from the perspective of taking, taking it, taking the salt? Yeah, it's very simple. And you pour it into the water in the correct proportion. Yeah. You let it dissolve and you're yes, done, right? Yes, yes, yes. That's how it's done. Wow, fantastic. Well, there you have it. I, uh, I'm completely blown away. I think it's one of the coolest projects I've seen so far. Guys, well done. I really think this is impressive. And um, well, what are you going to do with the idea? Are you going to uh, um, you know, release it to the community and let the community do this? Holding the project back, we're trying to help the world. We're not just we're not here to make fame. We're just trying to help the world. So if anyone wants to utilize the project for us or help us to market it, then it's done. They could come have it. They could. Uh, they had to pay some money, so but uh, they could have it. They could uh, help use and help the world because it's all about the universe. We have to save it if we need somewhere to live. Fantastic. Guys, thank you very much. And best of luck uh, this afternoon and this evening. I really hope you guys do well in the awards. Take care.